let's go cruising in the 503. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we are not in the 808. We are actually in Portland, Oregon. And I'm here to take my youngest to school. Well, since I'm here, I thought, let's go on a ride. Let's go check out some of the places in Portland. They got some beautiful bike paths along some really scenic areas. Let's go check it out. So I found that Nike rents bicycles and they call it Bike Town. And so that's where I'm at. It does have some pedal assist and those are the bikes. So let's see if I can unlock one of these guys and give it a shot. This one has an app. That one says it's unavailable. If this has a red light next to it, I don't know where that red light is. Where is that red light? Let's see that one. Yes. Okay, so I got one. Let's see what this does. Putting in my date of birth. This thing is asking for my pronouns. I'm gonna accept the terms. It. Oh man, please don't tell me that that thing is not. Okay. So this one's a problem because this has no way of raising that up. So I found a bike that had a locking, a working locking seat post clamp, unlocked it, and now it's time to go for a ride. This bike does have pedal assist, which is pretty nice. I don't know where these guys are going. Should I follow them? I kind of feel like I don't know where they're gonna go though. So. Let me go back the other way. spoke to some ladies who had their bikes on the side and they said that there's some sort of path up here and I think I think that's it spring water corridor let's go check it out Cool. 
Got a nice little path. So I thought, since this might be a ride, and I got no Bernie to ride with, or no John, for that matter. And by the way, John, this thing has pedal assist. I think you'd love it. Anyway, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the reason why I'm here in Portland and um, kind of like why it's bittersweet. Um, I have, if you've seen any of my other videos, I might have mentioned that I have three kids and one of them is already graduated from college and she's already working. My son is in his final year, uh, also here in Oregon. And then my youngest uh, just graduated from high school. Oh, check that out. Squirrel. <laughs> anyway, so she's ready to start her first year uh, in college. And it's bittersweet because, you know, you grow up with taking care of them and being there for them 24 seven in every single way possible. And you do everything you can to prepare them for this moment. And you hope that whatever you did was enough, you know? And so I think kind of like that's where, you know, we're at. This is our third one. And, you know, all three kids have been fantastic. Um, I can't say that my parenting skills have, have been fantastic. There are definitely things that I wish I had done differently with each of them. Um, you know, you make mistakes along the way. And, um, but you hope that whatever you've done with them up to this point uh, has prepared them for them now to be on their own and away from you. And that's kind of where we're at today. So we arrived in Portland a couple days ago and got to spend some time with my son. Took him and his girlfriend out for dinner last night and gonna hopefully get to see him a couple more times before we go. And then, uh, you know, now we have a couple days left with our youngest. We're gonna be actually driving out to where her school is. Um, I think it's tomorrow. And then getting her settled into her dorm and started on her college journey. So it's exciting. Um, I remember what it was like to leave home for the first time, go to college, and it's exciting. And I think she's ready. I'm wondering why this thing is beeping. I wonder if I'm not supposed to take this bike this far. I don't know. That's an interesting building right up there. A little marsh type of area. I'm interested to see how far this goes. The ladies that I talked to this morning said they were on a 16 mile ride or they did 16 miles. I don't want to go that far, but I don't know, we'll see. Something on this bike is rubbing. I don't know what that is. It's making this like chirp sound. I don't know what that is. But anyway, this bike is similar to the one I rode in Boston. You can um, turn this crank up to make it easier to pedal um, on flat. You twist it backwards, has two brakes. 
and it does have pedal assist. It doesn't have a way that I can see, a way to, to change the pedal assist. Oh, check it out. They got like a little amusement park. This is the one that the ladies are talking about. So they said there was a little amusement park down here. I wonder what the hours are like for this place. Interesting. Yeah, they mentioned this. What I need to do is I need to find a bathroom. I had this really large Dutch Brothers coffee um, before I started. Kind of needed to use the bathroom before I jumped on the bike but I think the nearest public one was about eight minutes by car. I said, ah, maybe I'll find something. So we'll see. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, I do have to pedal. Even though this thing is pedal assist, I don't know. I don't feel it all too much, but interesting. Oh, there seems to be like another trail that these guys are on. There is a bridge coming up that I want to check out. I think I can cross this bridge and go on the other side. So that is the plan. We are coming up on that bridge. And I just need to figure out a way to cross it. Oaks Park. Huh, okay. Laura is here. All right. So seeing as how it's up there, I think I gotta go there. All right, so I made it across. I made it up the hill. And that's where I was. And now I'm crossing this bridge. It's called the Selwood Bridge. And I think there's a path on the other side. At least I hope there's a path on the other side. I think so. So we'll see where this goes. It's a really nice view. Got some houseboats there. The trick is to see how do I get down there. Because there must be a way. Let's go this way. So the dude that I was following, he's already down there. So I think there is a little ramp here. And it's gonna take me down into that lower path because I don't think I wanna ride down there. And yes it is, nice. So I know there's a lot of guys my age that follow this channel. And so there might be many of you guys that are also going through or have gone or are gonna go through the same thing with your kids. Let me know. Like, how was it for you when you sent your kids off to college? Um, 
it's bittersweet. You know, it's awesome that they did well enough to be accepted into a college, and then gonna they're gonna work at, you know, trying to see what they want to do. But um, that also means we're not gonna see them like we used to every day. So that's gonna be tough. But should be fun. Uh, I know she's gonna enjoy it. I know my son is enjoying it. And uh, kind of look forward to this next chapter in her life. We have now entered into sort of like a residential area. The path ended, but I still see bike lane uh, markings on the ground, so it's still an area. I guess maybe this just is, cuts through this one neighborhood and then it links up with the path again. So I think so. Oh, we got a park here. Maybe I can use the restroom. Willamette Park. Uh, let's see. There are a lot of, what is that, geese? Look at that. Holy smokes. Is there any restroom around here? There is a restroom, but there is that dude. So I think I'm gonna pass. Uh, I don't have to go that bad, so it's not too bad. But I kind of want to go on the other side because I think that side's a little nicer. I see something there. Let me see if there's a bathroom over there that I can use. They also have these lime scooters all over the place. I guess it's okay if you just lock it up to something. I don't know, this one's not locked up. Oh, how's this car? Lucid. Wow, that's a new one. See a restroom. Bike still here. That's a bonus. All right. Oh, let's get closer to the water. down that thing but I don't know how sturdy this is going to be I think I'll just stop here <laughs> I don't want to fall off the pier and put this bike in the water <laughs> now that would be some entertaining content though Park. That's pretty cool. Uh, where does 
just go. And just lead me back out to the road. Here we go, another path. Nice. Guessing this way. Alright. So my goal is to try to find where that path can connect to. I'm right in a residential area. I'm on a sidewalk. There's no real paths here. So let's see if I can find the path closest to the water. Whew. I was booking it up that hill. <laughs> Trying to get out of the, the lane. I think the turn <coughs> I think the turn to go back down to the water is right here. <clears throat> All right, so somehow I pass that way. I'm supposed to turn here. But I passed it. So I need to backtrack and see if I can find my way down to the water. Because it's not down there. It's back there. I found it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because this view is hell of a lot better than what I was looking at up on the road. Look at that. So much nicer than where I was. Interesting. Abandoned restaurant. Nice location though, but. So apartments. Me a nice area. Oh, these roots! Some roots on the ground. Might be a good place to stop. I'm now here and I'm heading up into the area and I'm going to be going up to South Waterfront and I kind of started close to the museum but I might go a little further down. So we are at a dead end because there's some construction and it's blocked off right there. So I guess it's back out to the main road to find another way out. To the city we go to get around that detour. Bikes merge with autos. I don't know 
this way is gonna take me to the path again, but it might. on the path. Here we go. Does it end? Oh no, it ends. It ends right here. Shoot. was so I thought that was the way it got me back on a path but I got to another roadblock <sighs> back out to the road Follow this path. There's the bridge. I'm gonna go under it and keep going. I actually don't know how far it is. I did not, I forgot to track it on my watch to see how far I'm going. Um, I am certain the app on the bike is gonna tell me at the end because it's charging me by the minute. I think, but maybe it's only going to tell me how much, how many minutes I've been on it. I don't know. So it's going to be interesting to see how much this is going to cost me at the end. <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been. This is a really, really nice place to ride. Oh, there's the bridge that I started on. Okay, decisions, decisions, decisions. So when I started, I was on that bridge. So if I go back there, I can bring the bike. But do I want to end the bike right here? Hmm. I made the decision to keep going instead of crossing that bridge. I know where that is going to take me. Um, I kind of want to find a park and maybe possibly park it down there. Um, Let's see what happens. There definitely are some places that you have to navigate around, but I think I found it again. At least where I think it is. I don't know. All right, after a short break, um, jump back on the bike and I'm gonna go and try and find the steel bridge across there and then make my way back to the museum where I can get picked up by my wife and daughter. This is pretty cool right here. Check this out. I can't ring the bell because the bell is on the other handlebar. So it's hard. When I come upon people, I don't want to scare them, but I'm kind of using this hand to steer and brake. The other hand's holding the GoPro, so it's kind of hard. 
I don't think this is the bridge I'm gonna cross. I think it's the one that's gonna be a little further up. If you ever get a chance to, to come out to Portland, you definitely need to ride some bikes because there's just a ton of places to ride, really bike friendly, and it's just, just beautiful out here, especially during this time of year. We're in September right now and the weather's really nice. It's not too hot. And so it's really nice out here. So I don't think that's the bridge I can actually go on. I think I'm gonna stop, take a look at my map when I get to the end. So I can kind of see if I'm looking at the right one. Okay, so I'm here and it looks like I can go to the next bridge, which has a lower crossing. So I don't have to go way up on the top part. So getting back to my kids, when my first child went to school, my oldest, uh, I I think I got a little emotional. It was, I know I was definitely sad on the way home. Uh, you know, when we, after we dropped her off um, with my son, he was just happy to like leave. <laughs> so he didn't really stay and hang out with us at the hotel. Once we checked him into his dorm, he just wanted to go. You know, whereas my oldest kind of stayed with us for a little while. I'm not too sure what my youngest is gonna do. I have a feeling she'll probably stay with us for a little bit. Um, and I'm sure I'm gonna be a little emotional <coughs> leaving. She's the, she's the baby. And um, while she's no baby anymore, um, it is gonna be, you know, different not having her around the house again. Um, It'll be sad, but I'm excited for her. I think she's gonna really enjoy her school and I'm not worried. Um, she's, a, she's a good student and has always done well in school. And so I don't think it's gonna be any different now that she's in college. Um, but you still hope you know, that everything goes well. And it is gonna be tough leaving her at her school, no doubt. Okay, this looks like a really interesting bridge we're gonna cross. This is pretty cool, I gotta say. bridge I'm gonna head back towards the museum kind of like where I got started excuse me I think there were some bike return carts or an area where I can return the bikes back at the museum so I think I'm gonna do that but yeah it's been a fun ride so far There are cats east. <laughs> They're all 
always seems to be some sort of detour. <laughs> That's been the story of today, is you come across a section and then you get to the end and then you're like, what next? And this is no different, so I gotta find a way around this. All right, so back where we headed. Okay, the interesting part is if that's, that back area is closed, I gotta figure out where am I gonna go to kind of head in that same direction. Do I, huh, I think I might have to go, shoot, I have no idea. I got a hill, so this GoPro is gonna go down. All right, this isn't too bad. Looks like I gotta get across that bridge. Just don't wanna hit anybody. Another cool little bit. I can't believe somebody abandoned their scooter on the bridge like that. Interesting. You wonder if the company has to go around with their GPS trackers and then just go grab all these scooters that are all over the place. Because that's not the first one I've seen that's been just out and about. going straight because I am up here I think I ought to just head further in I should be all right You got a lot harder job than I do, man. <laughs> I didn't join yours.
think I'm in the right direction now. Uh, there's some kind. This is like an industrial area. A couple places are a little bit sketchy, but for the most part, it was all right. I just gotta keep heading straight down here, and it'll take me to the museum. gonna park it where I saw it but I think I'm just gonna go park it back where I picked it up instead because I think there are some places that I could maybe go and stop and get something to eat Train, which is kind of cool. Huh. I think this is the way to get me back where I was. I'm gonna bring the bath. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the bike back to where I got it. If I can cross the street. Let me see if there's all these. Let's see. That's it. All right, that's gonna do it for cruising in the 503. Uh, Portland is a great city to ride your bike around. Um, the ride was mostly flat, a couple of hills here or there, not a lot, um, and lots of places to ride. I mean, if you get to ride out by the waterfront, super nice. Just there was a ton of detours that I had to kind of navigate around um, because you know, different uh, bikeways are closed and whatnot, but it was fun. So now I'm gonna try to find some place to eat. All right, so if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. Consider liking and subscribing, uh, and I will see you on the next one. So until then, take care of one another, be safe, and aloha. <laughs>